Hello students. Today we are going to deal with a new history chapter which is very important for every one of us to know that is British rule in India and freedom struggle. See children, in early period our country was called as golden bird because of its richness in spices, jewelry, textiles and pearl it is here. When European invade India, they decided to establish trade relation with India. The first European trader who arrived in India was Vasco da Gama. In 1448, he arrived in India in Calicut and after him, many European traders started visiting for trade. Many European countries like Dutch, British, French and Danish started trading with India. But among all the traders, Britishers were most powerful and able to establish his own trade in India and, is, and they were success also. They established East India Company in Surat. Later, they also established trading centers in Chennai, Mumbai and Kolkata. Then, British rule established in India. Earlier, our country was divided into kingdoms and most of them were busy in fighting with each other. In the meanwhile, East India Company was earning huge amount of wealth and growing popular, powerful. Then, Battle of Placid took place. Britishers started building forts in Bengal. Sirajudola, Nawab of Bengal stopped the, them for doing so, but they didn't listen and hence the war declared. The war against Britishers, which is known as Battle of Palasi, this took place in 1757. And in this, Sirajudola, the Nawab of Bengal, was defeated and put to death. And after this, the Britishers were more powerful. Then, Battle of Buxar in 1764. After seven years of the Battle of Palasi, another battle fought between Mir Qasim. Nawab of Bengal, the Mughal Emperor Sa Alam and Nawab of Awadh and East India Company. The British won this battle too and Bengal, Bihar and parts of Orissa came under British rule. Robert Clive became the first British Governor General of Bengal. Now they started their policies in India. British's policies Because of disunity among the Indian British took its advantage and captured the entire country. They followed many policies for their self-benefit. Some of them are Divide and rule policy. Britishers pitted one ruler against another and get advantage of their fight. They introduced subsidiary alliance. This subsidiary alliance introduced by Lord Basie as you can see him in the picture according to which the ruler had to suspend their armies and keep British forces in their territory and pay for their maintenance. Doctrine of Lapse This policy was introduced by Lord Dalhousie. Under this policy, any kingdom whose ruler died without having a natural son would be taken over by the British. Thus, the British took control over many other kingdoms through these policies. Then, Revolt of 1857 Revolt of 1857 There were many reasons for this revolt and this revolt was also known as the first war of independence. The immediate cause we will discuss here. In January 1857, a rumor spread in Bengal regiment that the greased cartilage contained the fat of cow and pig. The former sacred to Hindus and later forbidden to Muslim. On 29th March 1857, Mangal Pandey of 34th Infantry at Barakpur called upon his fellow sepahs to revolt against the use of new cartilage. He was arrested and on 8th April he was hanged to death. A month later, on 9 May 1857, a revolt broke out in Merit. Causes of the Failure why this revolt was failed? The, because, first reason, the revolt was localized and was poorly organized. The British had better resources than the rebels. The revolt was feudal in character. The leaders lacked military skills. 
the native princes did not join the revolt. Result of the revolt, the British government taken the rule in hand and abolished the company rule. The post of Viceroy created as a representative of British government in India. Doctrine of lapse removed by practices. Theory of appeasements adopted by British rule in India. Appointment policy in military has been changed and maximum European appointed in British Army. Queen Victoria announced that in future the rule in India will be favour of India. The prominent leaders of the revolt of 1857 were First picture you can see Kuan Singh, then Tatya Tope, Lakshmi Bai, Begum Hazrat Mahal. After this revolt, the feeling of nationalism arises in our country. What are the factors? The first most factor is the revolt of 1857. Then the tribal and the peasant movements, the imperialistic attitude of the British, economic exploitation, racial superiority of discrimination, unifying features of British rule, cultural and religious movements. There are so many social there were so many social evils prevailing in our society at that time and these were abolished by some of the reformers. They were Acharya Chanakya, Swami B. Dhyanand Sharashati, Raja Ram Mohan Rai and Ishwar Chand Vidya Saga. Then the Indian National Congress was formed. Indian National Congress was formed by Sir Alan Octavian Hume, A.O. Hume a civil servant to unite all Indians and strengthen bonds with Britain. Indian National Congress stressed for economic reforms and wanted a large role in making of British policy for India. In 1920, the Congress began a campaign of passive resistance led by Mohan Das Karamchand Gandhi against restriction on the press and political activities. Though Congress claimed to represent all Indians, many Muslims and Hindus were not joined. Then the Congress also split into two groups. After some time, due to different way of dealing with the British rule, Congress was split into two groups. One is moderate and another is radical. As you can see in the picture, some leaders are in the extremist group and some are in the moderate group. The extremist leaders were <coughs> Lala Lajpat Rai, Bal Ganga Dhartilak, then Bipin Chandrapal and Badruddin Tyabji. The moderate leaders were G.K. Gokhale, Asan Benerji, W.C. Benerji and M.G. Ranade. Then partition of Bengal took place. Bengal had become the center of freedom struggle. British followed their policy of divide and rule and divided Bengal in 1905 giving reason that, as Bengal was a very large and populous state, it would be easier to administer by dividing it into states. But people were not angry with this. They protest against the partition and at last the British gave in and finally Bengal was reunited. At that time, the First World War took place. The First World War broke out in 1914 and it was believed that after the war the British would bring reforms in India. Indian society and would work towards granting freedom to India. But instead of granting freedom, they passed a strict law that is Royal Act. According to this law, anyone, any Indians could be imprisoned without trial. Indians strongly protest against this act and now the Indian freedom fighters decided to work to get independence from the British rule at any cost. Thank you. We will meet in the next video.